just a quick tutorial. I just wanted to show you how to add some pizzazz and make the viewing experience for your viewers when doing screen captures and tutorials a lot better for them. Now, the first thing to remember is when you're showing someone a tutorial or something like that, there are two elements to this. One is what they're seeing on the screen, and we'll cover that in a minute, and the other is what they're hearing. Now, I recorded the tutorial. This down here is the track which I recorded into the laptop, the laptop speakers, and this is the one where I recorded it separately while doing this into my Mix Pre 3 using my Shure SM7B. The Shure SM7B is an awesome broadcast, podcast type microphone. I'll have links to this stuff below, but I want you to hear the difference. Just forget about what's on the screen here. You tell me which one you would rather listen to. Now you can go down to the Generate folder, push that down, and you'll see four color gradient here. This is already set up for you. I just want to show you how to add an effect to this color mat. Hear the difference? This is already set up for you. I just want to show you how to add an effect. This is through the laptop. Bad audio. This is already set up for you. I just want to show you how to add an effect. So first thing you've done is you've saved the person's ears and made it much more pleasurable. This is already set up for you. I just want to show you how to add an effect to this color mat. So that's how you handle your audio. Get good audio capture for your viewers. The second thing is in here we're showing this screen. You'll see that right there. Now you can do this any number of ways. I don't care how you capture. I don't care what video editor you use. I don't care if you use Camtasia. You'll be able to do these things no matter what you use. But here's the tip. Now I'm going to go over here and you'll notice, let's take a look at this. You notice there's the screen. Okay, now watch this. Again, you can do this any number of ways. Uh, using your editor, you can, I'm going to use what's called Lumetri Color. Don't get all confused by all this junk. You're basically taking these blacks or you can use the exposure and contrast. Now I'm gonna set this to minus 20. You see what happened? Let's take a look at this and I'll show you the difference. That's on, that's off. See how much richer that is? The user can see these much, much better because I've just taken and crushed these blacks a little bit. That's grayish, kind of washed out. I do this to all my videos. It just looks richer that way. The other thing you can do is go over in whatever you're using and look for a sharpening thing. I'll add this to the video and I'll come over here and I'll just, the sharpening amount, I'll just add maybe 10%. You see that? Let's take a look at this. Not too much. You don't want to go too crazy because it will get crazy looking and everything will look bad. That's off. That's on. Let's take a look again. Off. On. It just makes these things pop a little bit. Off. On. These two things alone can really make a huge difference. That's off, no sharpening, no crushing the blacks. That's on, makes a huge difference. Both off, there's the sharpening, pops it a little bit. There's the crushing the blacks. Okay, the last thing, I don't know how you do this or how you care to do this in your video editor is people zoom up and I really don't like how they zoom up. The other way to do this is you can, oh, right there, I want to zoom up and I want to zoom in this area. The video has been going for a while. It's not going to be jarring. So we're going to set the position and scale keyframe. I'm going to right arrow to the right. That's five frames for me. However you do this in your video editor is however you do it. I'm going to zoom this thing up. I'm going to move this like this. I don't need to see the top stuff up there. Looks better like that anyway. I'm going to come over to here and here's what happens. For this is you can go to video effects right there. Click on the down little arrow to twist it down. Now you can go down to the generate folder, twist that down 
and you'll see four color gradient here. This is already set up for you. I just want to show you how to add an effect to this color mat. So let's drag. So we're going to drag over here. So right here, I'm going to set another position keyframe, pow, pow. That means stay there at that scale of that position there. I'm going to shift right, at least in Premiere, to go five frames to the right. I'm going to reset my scale to its original size. I'm going to reset that to its original size. Now we have this color mat. So let's drag. We can either drag it and drop it on there. Now look at there. Let's undo that. Or if we have the color mat selected, we can double click and it will add that effect to it. I might even cut that. this out. Let's undo that. Or if we have the color mat selected, we can double click and it will add that effect to it. And there you go. That's how I do some zooming around. Uh, that's how I uh, add a sharpness to this. That's how I add um, some crushing blacks to it. Let's go to where it's zoomed in. No sharpening. Let's crush the blacks a little bit. Nice and rich. Let's add a little sharpening. Viewer's able to see it and he can see what you're talking to. Now, if you happen to use Premiere Pro, um, one last suggestion is when you're doing these tutorials is go up to the edit, go to preferences and go to appearance. If you notice right here, it's talking about the interactive controls and the fo focus indicators. Yank all those up. Now look at how bright those are. So when you click on these target areas, this blue really stands out. And there you go. Those are my tips for doing some screen captures. Uh, most of this can be applied in your video editor, whether it be uh, your capture, Camtasia, or whatever you use or whatever type of video editor you use. Uh, that'll help the experience for your tutorials and for your user be much more pleasant. I hope that helps and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.